have quite a bit of paranormal vibes there. This door is accessible. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, no rush in finding out what that was. That must be a trick of the mind. That was way too dark and sudden and airy and whatever you're not. Why is there an elevator? Carl <laughs> has become as cruel as his father. I can speak neither of the war nor of my lost sons. I am not even permitted in their rooms. The rooms of my own sons. I'm not permitted to exist at all. If only I were dead too. Don't say that. Also, it's, I can't play the accent game. It sounds like you're British. And everything here is German. You sense that the charms are meant to keep evil at bay. That's a charm? Why, why does looking at them make you feel nauseous? Probably because this might not even be real. So charms. Lots of crosses and salt, I suppose. Around the elevator. Do not use the elevator. Something might ex uh, enter, exit out the elevator or and enter the... God, I can't speak. This, this whole thing gets to me. Mechanical bird. Sing. What bird are you? <laughs> Mater Dolorosa. What a strange painting. You never saw Mother the way he did. Half abstract, half not abstract. <laughs> so the mother lost her sons. Her sons. Both going to the war, I guess. And I am one of the sons. Saint Balbine postcard in French. Little sister, how are you? We went to Berlin to visit you, but the maid turned us away. There was an old man shouting in German, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. Did we go to the wrong address? Why do you never write anymore? Did you get the singing bird? <laughs> they sure did. I remember how we used to sing in the square in front of the church and marvel at the little golden birds in the window by mother and father's cafe. If things have become unbearable, please come back to us. How are the children faring? Please write. St. Belbin, May 3rd, 1908. Julie. So you think you went to the wrong address and then went back home and then sent this? <laughs> Alcohol. Okay, bur some bursts can be very loud. And this is one of them. Let's turn it off. There we go. I don't know which bird it is, though. This looks like a sofa that you can take with you because you can just roll it up. <laughs> Mother used to lie here for days crying. Before you went to the war, while it was still being discussed, because why, do you have, why would you have memories of a mother crying, missing you? If you are not there, she would be crying then. And lots of crosses. Yeah, I can see that religion has taken its grip on you. And I suppose father thought so too. So why is this so haunted? Why would I come in here and then wake up and not remember anything of it? I, I just wake up and I'm suddenly here. It must be fake. Mustn't it? Like, where is everyone? I just saw, like, a ghastly figure that didn't acknowledge me or anything. Dearest mother, when I hear the cannon's thunder, I can no longer be angry with father. Instead, I worry for all of you. Have you heard from Paul at all? He hasn't replied to a single one of my letters. Johannes.
It could be that Paul is the one we played as in the prologue, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this looks like Morris. No, it's okay. Okay. Music box like thing. Something you put on the piano or so. Orchestrian musical role. A march written in honor of our great general, Lothar von, Sch uh, von Schmidt. What was this in the trash? Picture of mother. Mother. When you were young, she would spend every day in the winter garden until grandfather came to live with you, that is. Who is. How is this narrative? It says mother. And then it says something that was spoken by mother to us. Or, or it's just our mind speaking to us. This is mother. By the way, when you were young. It's like our mind is trying to feed memories to us. The mind knows because it went through it, but we are having a little bit of amnesia. LPA Records. Eisenbach. Schlaf. Was that Schlachthaus? Sl the slaughterhouse, the butcher. I wonder what that would sound like. That sounds gruesome. Just imagine just putting it on just here, a lot of pigs squealing in there. <laughs> okay, the piano music started after the apparition vanished in other thin air. Oh. And someone is playing the drums. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. Something fell over. It's like poltergeist here. Mother would often lock herself in the music room for hours on end, but not today. You won't allow it. What sort of memory is this? You won't allow it. Salt. A packet of salt. So they were in packets back then. Dearest mother, I am glad that you have at least survived the cold weather. But I know how scarce food has become at home. It would be best if we just surrendered. But I'm sure Father doesn't want to hear such talk. He probably thinks that the war will bring him glory and honor. Just like Grandfather. Glory and honor perished in the very first winter of this war. <sighs> How we wanted to go to war. How foolish we were. Nevertheless, I shall write to Father. I am worried about Paul. Johannes, 15th of April, 1917. Where are you writing from? I, I, mean, I don't know why this confuses me. It's, it feels like a cluster of different messages and memories bending together. I, I, like We are Johannes, I suppose. Or are we Paul? Where are the Paul you at? <laughs> Just looking at the picture makes you feel sick. Who would paint something like that? Those are the trenches, aren't they? Oh my god, yeah. You can see the bodies down there at the bottom as well. Um, yeah. I, it feels like we are walking through our mind from edge to edge, going through the dreams and memories. And then you have these black and white things as the recent memories, as the real life, sort of. Just reminding us that, like, hey, you have to come back there sooner or later. Or perish. It's like, you know, when life flashes in front of you before you die, maybe this is like a version of that. I hope not, but... If it is, then at least there's a little bit of... Not war going on, so to speak. Berlin, December 20th, 1918. That's the last year of the second war, isn't it? Uh, of, the, <laughs> the of the first war, what the heck? That's the last year of the first war. It's either 1918 or 1919, I think it was. Second war didn't start out in like 1939 and stuff. Dear Frau von Schmidt, I have brought you some potatoes. You have always been kind to me and given me a little extra money, so I am glad to be able to do something for you in return. 
none of us has very much right now. But I know it must be twice as hard for you. So, t uh, please take care of yourself. I hope I may return to work for you again soon. Perhaps when the winter is over. Your friend, Ursula Beugel. Return to work for you again soon. So someone we had to let go because of the bad times. Or, or well, maybe not like that. Maybe they weren't employed. They were just selling us potatoes, maybe. And now they gave us potatoes out of kindness. What hair? Kitchen work rota. Rotation? Rota. Kitchen duty, yeah. Kitchen duty and house cleaning rota. 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, the 14th is Bruegel. 15th is Bruegel shopping. Where's Bruegel? Oh yeah, name for name. Adler and Bruegel do cleaning the 16th, the day after Adler, last day before they go. 18th, nothing. 19th, Bruegel, last day. 20th. So did both the cleaners and the workers there, mates and so, just quit? Like a term of normally a schedule where they show who was here cleaning, doing what. And I was just sort of serving as a resignation. I, I read this. Yeah, yeah, I read this. Just want to double check. Don't want to walk past a note that's glaringly obvious and then be like, yeah. <laughs> In my darkest hours, it is only music that saves me. Is there a heart in the world that cannot be softened by it? But when Carl plays that terrible orchestrion and his father's music again, I feel sick. The slaughterhouse. The walls crumble and everything comes crashing down around me. It makes me want to die. But I know where he keeps the key. Please stop talking about you wanting to die. Collecting hints and documents when you find documents that are relevant. Other documents that remain in the game world. Ah, okay. I see. So this is a document for a puzzle. Because they talk about the key. So, but I hope she stops fantasizing about death. I never met my mother, but in... I think it was last year I was given documents that she wrote poems and documents where she fantasized about death all the time but nobody ever knows what happened to her but still don't romanticize too much about death it's not healthy for you well, let's have a look at this then also it looks like a flower this light <laughs> it looks like a winter flower Okay. They will all scrabble. But I know where he keeps the key. Where he keeps the key. So in... In the LP record player or something? <laughs> Guess that wasn't much of a hint. I feel anyway. Smashed window. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, stop pushing. It's not my fault you're such a slow poke. And it's not my fault you can't do a boost up right. I've told you to no climbing in through the window. But you didn't open the door. <laughs> I knocked for ages, and no one answered. Oh, boys. Come on in, then. But keep the noise down. Your grandfather's sleeping. So when grandfather is sleeping, we're not allowed to be in the house. If we happen to be outside at the time, we can't come in. My god, how rich were we? What is this place? I thought it was a note or so because it shines so elegantly. Oh. 
What is this, a church? <laughs> Just painted decorative windows. Coat of arms, the eagle, the wolf, and the cod. Or fish at the very least. Let's have a look down here first. This mansion. Oh. There we go, the sons were sent to war. A picture of you and your brother. Your gaze is drawn to the obituary alongside it. You fought, and they just gave up on you. Obituary? With the deepest regret, we hereby report that the sons of our Director General and grandsons of the great General Lothar von Schmidt, Paul von Schmidt, born 5th of March, 1899, and Johannes von Schmidt, born 3rd of October, 1893, have met their heroic deaths on the Western Front. May they rest in peace. Berlin, 12th of October, 1917. Carl von Schmidt and Co. Paint Factories. So we are the paint factory then. Makes more sense, but... So Paul was... Uh, uh, who was Paul? Let's see. Paul was the youngest one. Johannes was five years older. So that does I am... I am Johannes or Paul. I can't be dead. It has to be like a weird memory. Not a memory. A fake memory. A coma memory. Right? It's too open. It's too peaceful. And we saw a very disturbing, startling imagery of a woman pushing a baby wagon or so. A stroller. And then it went back to this. And you know, we heard a lot of the shaking around. They said that father playing the music makes everything shake, but there would be artillery and mines around us at the time, I think. So, yeah, that does. Uh, it felt like we woke up into a different reality. What happened? Music stopped and everything. You know, no, no, this, yeah, okay, yeah. This, this that corridor is cursed. <laughs> I'm going up here. I'm, go I'm gonna have a look up here. Like a peaceful doggo. Everything is on lockdown. It's so weird. Oh, that would be mothers, I suppose. Syringe and vial. Oh, oh, God, it hurts just to look at it, even with my peripheral vision. Okay, what is this? Um, I can't see what it says. Let's see, zoom. Little mouse. Uh, 25 milliliters of uh, quicksilver? You can't go injecting quicksilver. What? Oh, it's, it even says in the text, I'm so stupid. I'll look at the products first. Quicksilver, 10 milliliter. Then why does it say 20, 25 there? Oh. Carl von Schmidt. Oh. Why it's Quicksilver? This, this is like a medical tray and everything. Oh my god, look at that freaking horse tranquilizer of a syringe. No. Never looking that general direction again. I can really tell that I don't like needles. May 25th, 1916. Jesus. Magdalena refuses to accept that both our sons have now taken up service in the name of the Kaiser and the people. This is madness. I never wanted to believe father, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps she cannot be helped. Ever since father came to stay with us nine years ago, she has changed completely. I have administered Quicksilver. After a brief protest, she finally quietened down. 
I sound like a killer. <laughs> Quicksilver? Is that medicine? I thought this was highly toxic. Perhaps in certain amounts. But... Um, <laughs> um. Okay, so upstairs was just a traumatizing giga needle, so we shall go into the hopefully not that oh my god I I broke the door. <laughs> I was probably just hide like this, but that messes with my head. How it could go both ways. That messes with my head. Now matches. Ah, I can extinguish this as well. Or I can pick it up. Okay, never mind. The red sweet scent of the red wax permeates the air. It's probably just also a scent that you can scent at the battlefield. Why is there a area painting down the hallway that looks like it's glaring at me? That looks far too... That That's gonna catch my entire glimpse. I said glimpse and walked down the hallway. I can't speak. <laughs> Newspapers containing lists of casualties. Uh, you you don't want to read them. That would probably say the names of all the soldiers alongside you. Yeah, see, it's what I feared. I'm just gonna home in on you. It's like a homing beacon. It's like... Oh my fucking god! <laughs> it started voice. Tractor beam is what I wanted to say. <laughs> now you're wet too. Stop splashing. Mama, he got water on me and now I'm all wet. Come and sit on the bank with me. There you go. Now, put your feet in the water. Nice and warm, isn't it? Warm and wet. <laughs> Look at the sailboats. They're so fast. I bet they're going to America. From Vanze? The lakes aren't that big. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll find a way. They could sail down the harbor, then the Elba, and all the way to Hamburg. The gateway to the world. From there, anything's possible. Yeah, that's true. Hamburg is a... Uh big port that can lead out to anywhere you tractor beam you look at this queen news of the world check it out ah! well what's the matter what the hell is that it looks like someone shot you right about the nose him who grandfather when father saw the painting for of himself okay it's father Painting of himself for the first time. He said nothing, not a word. He's just, hmm. So I suppose that is us indeed. We were a painter when we were a telegraphist. The first moments when we woke up after sleeping a bit. Then anyway, we had to interpret the Morse code. So we've been trying for quite a while. Some sort of half Picasso style or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Snowd. Patient Magdalena von Schmidt. You need a bigger syringe. <laughs> In order to treat your wife's pronounced hysteria, melancholia, she must be spared any kind of emotional strain. Oh, yeah, hysteria, what they tried to treat all the time back then. Uh, Magdalena must avoid any objects or persons that might trigger an episode. I recommend one... Uh, I recommend one injection every two days until her symptoms start to improve. Daily injections are recommended during more severe melancholic phases. Dr. Drick. Okay, sorry for mispronouncing your name, you dirty doctor. Dr. Drisch, June 11th, 1908. Freaking injections. It's not just injections, it's with that 
big ass thing. <laughs> Jeez. If you weren't scared of needles, then you would be at that point. Um, before I go on, I, I go very much back and forth and I apologize for so. I just was toned in at this one picture. Let's see if one of these doors are accessible first. And then I promise I will go on immediately. I live. That looks like it opens up a... So I can go back instead of go around. This is locked. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> the cellar. And there's a lantern down there. We just lit. Someone must be there. Or oh, it's just my memory playing tricks on me. My fake memory. We must not underestimate and forget that this is probably a fake memory. I'll just take this with me for some reason. Sewing. God, it feels like the rain is getting louder. This giant house. Yeah, there's not important notes would lay here. I mean, not unimportant. All notes are equally important, but lore notes. Lore notes would remain. Puzzle notes would be taken with. Oh my goodness. Take a walk in the park without getting out and getting wet. Wonderful. Alas, for another time. This reminds me of the horror game I played called Curse. This mansion. Even this very area reminds me of it. Oh, back we go then. Buzzing. Goddess, why is this painting there? <laughs> it's so... It stands out a bit too much. have so many doors leading everywhere around. It's a bit fascinating, really. It's bigger than a train station. <laughs> Letter about orchestra. Dot dot dot. Hope, dear general, that this orchestrion and the march we have sent you will bring a small piece of the battlefield into your home for you and your family to enjoy, so that you may always be reminded of both of your countless victories and those of our German forefathers. I suppose this is what the mother was referring to that she didn't like. The orchestrion is the machine gun of the music world. <laughs> that sounded a bit more uh, non-calm. <laughs> I was hoping it would. This will solve all of your problems in one fell swoop. You are broken. Uh, you are broken. <laughs> your brothers of the Order of the Red Eagle. I suppose the German coat of arms down there. If I'm not mistaken. Orchestra. <laughs> oh there. Orchestra repairs. Dear Director General. Someone seems to have been playing around with your orchestra. Uh, it was none of the children, I promise. <laughs> a number of parts have been deliberately removed. I have found the cylinder and installed it, but there is no sign of the missing cog. I have the missing cog. Where did, where did I find the missing cog? I found it in one of the rooms. The music roll of which you spoke is nowhere to be found. I found that too, didn't I? 
At least I know where it is, I think. I have placed a key back into the chest in the entrance hall. We will now proceed with the installation of the elevator. Respectfully, Klaus Walters. Just randomly install installing many different things as we live here. Today is the orchestrion. Tomorrow is the elevator. The third day we will in invest in the funeral. <laughs> Sounds like you'll need it. I heard a breath. Oh. What do I look up there? But first. Oh yeah, I had this. I had this. That means I probably came from up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I remember now, yeah. I remember sort of. <laughs> I can go in here. That's way too empty. <laughs> Is it a chest in the entrance hall? To the chest. Is the chest still here? Or was this also picked up somewhere in the past? Guess this is Mother's hat. This is the entrance hall, isn't it? Maybe it's upstairs. Is it still the entrance hall when it's upstairs? Avoid eye contact with a syringe. In this chest, maybe. In this chest. Orchestron key. Key to grandfather's musical contraption. Okay, the paranormal theme is coming back. Oh! Okay, it's just a banister thing. Spoking up. I thought someone was standing there. There was just a shadow of the environment. I cannot close this. That's fine. That is fine. We must look at the bright doggo. Fills our heart with motivation to go on. It looks like you are cut in the chest. I see a strip of red there. I, I, it could also be just be a a. Uh, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? What a name tag goes on. A little band around around the neck. Uh. It was over here, wasn't it? I'll take this anyway. Ah, it was in here. There you go. All is unlocked. And there's where the paper sheath thing goes. Yep, I had it. I had it. The music roll. And I definitely have the cog. Um, start. Yeah, 
put the cog back where it's supposed to be. We hope. <laughs> Looks like a bicycle down there. Start. 